I find the final words uh, from our last guest, Anton van der Beel, to be extremely important. Uh, the point that he made about 64 million rand just being committed to a bilateral agreement. Um, this is the third, this engineering debacle is the third time in the past 12 months that the ANC government has, under a shard of darkness, um, engaged the Cuban government, uh, ex- exchanged monies uh, uh, with, the, with the Cuban government uh, without that much of a process, certainly not a visible one for the rest of the country, uh, and, and with very little explanation. It is the engineering crisis, it is the doctors who, and, and uh, scientists that were brought over, and of course it is the bungled uh, purchase of, of uh, vaccines uh, and, uh, and the inexplicable purchase of ba- vaccines by the Defence Ministry of all ministries that have yet to be explained. And while I speak about this brazen disregard for just voter interest or voter uh, informing voters all often on this show, I think the way that the Cuban relationship is being treated where, for example, solidarity through written communique uh, approached the Minister of Human Settlements for some kind of answer, and they simply disregarded the Monday deadline to give them an answer at all has got to be demonstrative to voters and to listeners of what they think of you. You, the engineer who isn't able to earn just a little 74,000 rand per month, which is not comparable. I'm not saying it's a small amount of money, but is in no way comparable to uh, 64 divided by 24, approximately 3 million rand a year that you might have gotten. Uh, it's just, it's quite a, it's, it's, it's a very concerning time and it's not lost on me, by the way, that Cuba is facing its worst economic crisis in decades as it tries to navigate its life post a Castro era. It is just last month that the final Castro, Raul Castro actually stepped down uh, from leading the Communist Party. And we understand the relationship between the ANC and Cuba, but that is not necessarily the Treasury's relationship between, our, uh, between us and, and our taxes and Cuba. Over and above that, who said that if we pretend South Africa didn't have skilled engineers, that the best engineer didn't, wouldn't come from Malaysia? Who's to say you are able to just go directly to the, the country that's your friend and not actually do a worldwide scan for who the best might be? It's disturbing. Uh, it's disturbing what they're getting away with. And I'm really, really, I feel very strongly that it's important uh, that uh, activist groups or at least labor groups such as Solidarity remain around Uh, to hold the the, the government accountable in this particular way. And I, I look forward to watching the outcome of this particular case. Breakfast with Rafilu Emuloto on Cape Talk.